Question number 24, two small spheres, each having a mass of 20 gram, are suspended from a common point by two insulating strings of length 40 centimeter each. The spheres are identically charged and the separation between the walls of a balls in equilibrium is 4 centimeter. Find the charge on each sphere. One sphere is here, another sphere is here. So its weight mg acts downward since the two spheres have charge identical q so they will repel each other so direction of the force will be like this here in this direction here in this direction this is tension and this angle is theta from vertical since this separation from here to here it is four centimeters so it will be till here two centimeter this is also two centimeter and this angle is theta, so this angle will also be theta. And uh, in this direction, component of T will be T cos theta. And in this direction, component of T will be T sine theta. Now, let's calculate the electrostatic force. So, Fe will be equal to using Coulomb's law 9 into 10 to the power 9 times charge is to be found. So Q square divided by separation. Separation is 4 centimeters. So 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. So this will become 9 upon 16 into 10 to the power. From here, this will be minus 4. So in numerator, it will become plus 4. So it will be 13 times Q square. Suppose this is equation number 1. Now, here T sine theta will be balanced by Fe. T sine theta equal to Fe and T cos theta will be balanced by Mg. So, here we can evaluate T cos theta. T will be cos theta will be this is base and uh, this is hypotenuse. So cos theta will be almost 1 because 40 square minus 2 square under root will give base. So this suppose this is point O, this is A. So OA will be base. So cos theta will be almost 1. So we write it as T into 1 equal to M. In our question, M is given as 20 grams, so 0 0.02 kg into G, let's take as 10. So T will be equal to 0 0.2 Newton. Now, sorry. Here, this one will sit here, so it's 0 0.2 Newton. Now, we can put this value of T here, so T will be 0 0.2 into sine theta. Sine theta will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse, so that is 2 upon 40 equal to Fe. So, this will become 0 0.4 upon 40 equal to Fe, which is equal to 1 upon 100 equal to Fe. Now we put the value of Fe from here. So we can say that 9 by 16 times 10 to the power 13 times Q square equal to 1 upon 100. From here, We can write it as Q square equals, this will become 16 upon 9 into 1 upon 100 times 10 to the power minus 13. So this is 1.6, sorry. 
16 upon 9 into 10 to the power minus 15. So let's uh, make it as 16 so that we can take out square root easily. So this is 160 upon 9 into 10 to the power minus 16. This is cube square. So by taking square root, we can get Q equals around 4.12 into 10 to the power minus 8 pull out. So that will be our answer. Let's go to next question. Two identical pith balls, each carrying a charge Q, are suspended from a common point by two strings of equal length L. Find the mass of each ball if the angle between the strings is 2 theta in equilibrium here this angle is theta this angle is theta so total angle between the two strings is 2 theta here the balls are there mass m so mg will let downward and since the two two balls are carrying same type of charges so there will be force of repulsion and let charge on the two balls is q so let's evaluate electrostatic force. So Fe will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught times product of charges. So Q square divided by it. separation. From here, x upon L equal to sine theta. So x equal to L sine theta. So total distance is 2x. So it will be 2x will be 2L sine theta. So here we can write 4 because square is 2 related. So it is in square. So 4L square times sine square theta. So this is one relation. So this can be further written as Q square divided by 16 pi epsilon naught L square times sine square theta. Now, let's write the components of tension. So in this direction, it will be T sine theta. So T sine theta will be balanced by Fe and T cos theta in this direction will be balanced by Mg. T cos theta will be balanced by mg. If we divide the two, we get tan theta equal to Fe upon mg. We have to find out m. So we can say m equal to Fe upon g tan theta or Fe cot theta divided by g. So m equal to Fe. In place of Fe, we can write this much. So Q square times cot theta divided by in denominator 16 pi epsilon naught L square and this G times sine square theta. So mass of each pith ball will be Q square times cot theta divided by 16 pi epsilon naught L square G sine square theta, which is our answer. Thank you for watching.